That newfound agility comes in no small part from riding on the same new platform as the Porsche Panamera. The previous generation shared the same foundation as the Volkswagen Phaeton, a compromise that resulted in a less than favorable engine placement. This time the front wheels have been edged forward, for a better 55-45 balance. The car comes in a hair under 5,000 pounds, 170 pounds lighter than the outgoing. The engine is down 66 pounds. The VW Group has great bounties of technology, and it has gifted the new Continental with loads of it. A three-chamber air suspension works hand-in-glove with the 48-volt powered active roll bars. The air suspension feels supple over choppy pavement, even in sport mode. The anti-roll bars act to negate almost all body lean. It's a magical combination. Even hitting a bump mid-corner doesn't phase the coupe. It is sure-footed to the extreme. Incidentally, you'll find this same setup in the Lamborghini use. So too does the Conti get active torque vectoring courtesy of a multi-plate electronic center diff, a GT first. Rather than a fixed torque ratio, it can now send full power to the rear rubber. That also means a launch control which sends the car to 60 miles per hour in 3.6 seconds. Top speed is 207 miles per hour. We've seen the same 6.0 liter twin turbo W12 in the Bentayga. Good here for 626 horsepower and 664 pound feet of torque. It seems you've got to be in the 600 horsepower club to even compete these days. Another welcome revelation is the gearbox. It's a ZF8 speed dual clutch gearbox, and it's convincingly smooth around town but makes fingers snap crisp shifts when driven hard. It's best left alone to shift for itself.